Hello. April is National Welding Month. Welcome to April. I'm Kevin Pfeiffer, General Manager of Holland's Welding Group. And there are often times I'm asked about the welding that Holland does for our railroad customers in track. And although I don't have enough time to describe that, nor am I probably smart enough to really get into the details of the actual weld, what I do want to talk about is all of the prep and support that goes into us getting to the point of making a weld in the field. And then what happens after that with all the reporting that goes out, not only internally, but externally to our customers as well. So in our business, as with most businesses, it starts with safety. Holland has a very good safety record. Um, currently, the welding group itself has, a, has an injury rating that is better than the best class one. Our injury rating is a 0.62. That is a, that is a great safety record. Um, as we start the, I'll call it the hourglass here, um, contracts come in from our customers, whether they are class one customers, transits, we do have some field sales where we have emergencies come up, but the contracts come in. With those contracts, our sales team and our ops managers work together to gather the information from our customers and determine what is the actual need and where is that need. Once we get that organized, that's the job input portion. We have our directors at the next level that gather that information from those two teams, start to shuffle it together, start to create the schedule, start to look at their, their assets, their people, and their equipment, and put it through our scheduling system and CRM. We have a person that's dedicated to taking all of our assets, all of our people, delivering a schedule based on what the two first uh, uh, inputs are from our customer and from our, our sales team and directors. Once that is taken care of, we then have our crew setup and mobilization. So now, once we've funneled all of that work to our scheduler, um, we determine what people do we need, what equipment do we need to service the customer. Um, and along that, there's a lot of support that comes into just that crew setup and mobilization. First off, we have a lot of maintenance support from our shops, from our equipment teams. Uh, so good that we have a stellar 99% plus uptime rate of our equipment. Uh, industry leading, I like to believe. Um, we also have tech support. So not only are we maintaining our equipment, but we are continually looking with a dedicated group of engineers and technicians of how do we improve that weld. So we, that is, a, again, another specific tool that Holland uses to make the best weld. With that, with the maintenance support and that tech team working together, although we're not quite at a Six Sigma level, for, so for those of you that are, are uh, continuous improvement gurus out there, we're not quite at Six Sigma, but we are at a 5.2 Sigma quality level, meaning we don't make a lot of bad welds. The last thing we have is once we do make the weld, we use all of the information gathered, we do more research and testing than anyone else to make sure that we are making the best possible weld for our customers. Now, again, like I said, we make the weld, there's a lot of support that goes into it, then once that weld is made, there's a lot of information that flows back out, not only internally, but externally. First and foremost, our people in the field make a production report. They report the job activity, that happens on, on the job for that day. And there is a weld certificate that is produced. We call it the birth certificate of that weld. It gives all the pertinent data for that weld, um, where the weld was made in track, the time of day, the parameters that our program uh, system, uh, the IntelliWeld that we use to make the weld. All of those parameters are collected by the, by the weld certificate, sent into Crete and they're archived, 100% archiving on that. So we have every weld that's made in the field is archived here electronically in Crete. Um, we then have customer reports. So from that production report, we give our customers specialized reports based on, again, using the weld information, using their setup from the beginning, aligning the two so that the customer knows exactly where we were, what we were doing on that particular day and time. The, the second to last thing is we have an internal dashboard. So all of this setup, the weld, and then the, the reporting that comes out of it, gets sent to an internal proprietary operations dashboard that anyone in the company can review and see the operation for the day. They can see where all of our units are working at a particular time. They can see how many welds are being produced. They can see how productive we are. They can see uptime on the trucks. They can see our, our maintenance support, 
um, our quality, everything is on that dashboard. I think I think that's a that's a pretty cool tool that we use inside. Last but not least, it started with the customer giving us contracts. At the end, once everyone is satisfied, we send the customer a bill. At that point, it's over, and we get to do it all over again. That's the really cool part. Thanks again. I'm Kevin Pfeiffer, and remember, April is National Welding Month. Thanks.